Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you one of the recipes that I use a lot when we're traveling because the ingredients are usually easy to find and it makes a ton of food for very little money. So we're going meatless at the moment because meat is very expensive here and it can only be bought at the butcher store. Um, you can buy it at the supermarket but it's a little sketchy. Buy it from the butcher. So, and we are trying to save up some money at the moment, which I will do a finances post probably next week. But this is also my massive comfort food recipe. It makes me happy no matter how many times in a row I have to eat it. I love it. And given that earlier today a rat ran across my foot, mouse, mouse, we'll go with mouse. We've named him Mickey and I'm sure there's a mini and a whole slew of happy little Disneyland characters in the walls. But, mm, this is how I'm coping. I don't want to say eat your feelings, but I was making it anyway, so that, that's super helpful. So, here we go. Let me show you. I'm going to turn the camera around. Maybe. Not maybe. Come on, phone. Okay, I'll do it this way. Okay, so we have caramelized onions, butter. You can buy it anywhere. Pasta. The kids picked out Peppa Pig shaped pasta. Winning. And then the part that's a little tricky to find, but most everywhere carries it. Cottage cheese. We're getting all of our protein and our calcium from cottage cheese tonight. So I usually do 48 ounces of cottage cheese, which is a ton. That's two huge things in the US. I did four of these little guys. And Normally my recipe calls for breadcrumbs. Not necessary, it just thickens it up, but it really doesn't matter. Um, so I have the cottage cheese, and I'm gonna add two eggs for every 24 ounces. Give or take, it doesn't mess anything up if you don't. And salt and pepper. And I'm gonna whisk it. And then you put that over your noodles. And then you put the onions on top and some half and half heavy cream or even just milk if you're trying to uh, cut calories. We don't care about calories over here. So if you're trying to do that, then anything will work really, but you'll have a richer flavor with a little bit more creamy, creamier base milk products. And it makes tons. Now granted my children eat tons, but we can get two meals out of it. So I'm making it tonight, we're gonna eat it tonight, and then Friday night we're getting home really late from the ferry, so we will have something to eat then as well. Now I don't have to worry about cooking at seven o'clock whenever we get back to the house. I'll just heat it up on the stove and we'll be done with it because we don't have a microwave. So I have to heat it up on the stove. Um, and I'll talk more about my rat problem later, but I just wanted to give you a little quick fix I would say cost-wise, eight bucks, eight US dollars. And we get two really full gorging yourself meals out of it. So, cook in bulk, help yourself out. All right, that's it, bye guys.